What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we've got a little bit of a special video. We're going to be testing out two iPhone 6S's. We've got one rose gold and one space gray in a Ghost Tech atomic case. The folks over at Ghost Tech challenged us to set these phones on fire and drop them into a puddle of water. We're going to be simulating that by setting them on fire with lighter fluid and then dropping them all the way up there and aim for this little kiddie pool filled with a crap ton of water bottles. It's gonna be epic. Let's get started. So I just asked a Walmart employee if they knew where kiddie pools were and also where kerosene and lamp oil was on like back to back to back. And they're like, I'm pretty sure she thought I was crazy. <laughs> this looks promising right here. Okay, so this is a six foot by one foot, three inch pool. It holds 258 gallons. We're gonna need a lot more water than this. More water. <laughs> so we're uh, packing up the car right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We have to fit the dolly, a crap ton of waters, and then we've got a generator, and we've got all the, you know, the Surface Pro 3 that we used to run the Phantom. It's a ridiculous setup to be able to do all this. All right, DJ's helping out. There's the first bottle. Here goes another bottle. Oh yeah, I'm a maniac, a maniac. You guys aren't ready for this. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah. The triple bottle. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Starting to get some water in it. The, the tricky part about this video is gonna be making sure it actually lands in the pool. You know what I mean? Ah! That's more efficient, right? Right? <laughs> Not really. I'm soaked now. <laughs> Got about three and a half, four inches of water here. And we're done. Let's head on upstairs and drop them in. Oh, we're gonna do a test. Oh my God, it won't even light. I'm so nervous right now. Let's move back over here a little bit. It doesn't even light. Oh my God. Well, I guess we're gonna have to try to get some different lighter fluid because this is not working. I'm gonna have to go see if I can get some kerosene or something. Okay, so uh, the lighter fluid didn't work so well. Darren said that lamp oil and kerosene worked well for them when they did the fire skateboarding. So there's some lamp oil and then some kerosene. And now, move those things far enough away. Here we go. It's like it needs a filament or something to, to go off of, you know? Like it's evaporating as it touches it. But, like, if I, I bet you if I put some grass on it, like that, it fucking, look at that, instantly light on fire. We might need to get some gasoline. Okay, here we are. Got the iPhone 6S, rose gold. And we've got DJ down below here. So we figured out that gasoline is probably the one we need to use. Kerosene, lamp oil, that's strong enough. Won't burn on the metal. If you had like wood to background it, it'd be fine. But the metal needs something stronger like gasoline. So do you think this flaming iPhone 6S will survive? Vote in the poll in the top left. And do you think the Ghost Tech one will survive? Also poll in the top left. Here we go. All right. We're on fire. We're dropping in three, two, one. Oh shit, it's missing! <laughs> oh my god, it it curved to the left on the way down. <laughs> yeah, it's pro it's not even in the phantom shot, is it? Okay, let's see how it did. Hundred foot drop. Oh yeah, absolutely toast. Look at that. Completely freaking toast. No screen turning. Oh, no, wait. 
The screen is turning on. What? Oh, it's responsive. Oh, no way. Uh, the home button's working. <laughs> Dropped from 100 feet and the iPhone is still alive. How in the world? What? We are going to have to drop this again. Hopefully we can land it in the pool this time. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go for a second toss. This time I'm going to aim a little bit to the right because the wind is blowing to the left. Here we go. Here we go. Yay! Trigger! <laughs> we got it in the pool! Woohoo! Okay, let's see how it is. Oh yeah, it's completely gone this time. <gasps> no, it's not. I can see the numbers. It just turned to three o'clock. Oh, it's not responding though. No. Oh, that's amazing though that it's still going because look at this. There's all this separation between the screen and the actual chassis. Okay, let's see what the phantom footage looks like. It, I, I thought it was gonna land pretty straight, but look at that, the last second flips down into a straight side angle, and it is now more damaged on the corner bottom. Let's go see how the uh, Ghost Tech iPhone 6S fares with the same test. Oh, oh yeah, this thing's burning good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see if there's any damage. Oh, it's still recording, but the screen's wigging out right now. Oh man, look at the screen. It's showing all these little glitches going across, but the fact that it's still on is amazing. But look at that, that is really funky looking. It's like three of me on the screen. Overall, the phone itself is intact. There's no structural damage. The screen's not shattered in any way. Uh, it's just this glitch on the screen as far as I can tell. Also, take a look at this. This is where it was all set on fire and it's actually okay. Well, we gave this a couple days to dry out and it's still doing the glitch, that's unfortunate. Overall though, that's still pretty impressive that this survived this well, well on fire, dropping into a 100 foot uh, little three inch puddle of water basically. Pretty freaking epic. Uh, big shout out to Ghost Tech for sending out the iPhones and the cases and everything. If you want to go check out the Ghost Tech uh, cases on Amazon, I have a link down below. That's it for this week, guys. We'll see you next time. Badaba doom.